Hello everyone, welcome to this video on the Bold BI 5.3 release highlights for Bold BI self-hosted and embedded editions. I'm excited to announce that our latest release delivers several helpful features and improvements to provide a better experience when working with Bold BI dashboards. In this video, we'll look at the key improvements and highlights of the 5.3 release. Let's look at the data source enhancements. We have added new data source connectors for Zero Workflow Max, Zoho Books, and Alma. Provided support to create SQL LibMode data sources programmatically using a REST API and also editing SQL LibMode data sources. Next, we have provided extract mode support for the Elasticsearch connector. Next, we have provided support to copy a data source from another data source for SQL extract and web based data sources. We also provided incremental refresh support for Bold Desk data sources. Here are the data source improvements in this release. Now, on to server enhancements. Now you can customize the font and theme on each side of your server. Also, we have implemented support to configure content security policies. By enabling this option, you can restrict the destination of sources such as styles, scripts, fonts, images, linking URLs, and frames from other domains. This helps you safeguard the contents on your domain page. We have provided support to configure X-Frame option to avoid loading the site inside a frame. You can enable or disable X-Frame option on the settings page. By enabling this option, your page will only be displayed if all frame ancestors and the page origin are the same. Next, let's see the server improvements we have made. We do have one breaking change for our server. On to designer enhancements. We have provided support for font style customization using theme variables. With this support, you can change the look and feel of the application by uploading custom themes. Next, you can be able to configure the data cache under the dashboard data process setting in the server. You can find all the designer improvements listed here. We do have one breaking change for our designer. Let's move on to the ID enhancements. We implemented Azure Active Directory B2C single sign-on authentication support for external providers. Next, we provided two-factor authentication support for user login. This adds an extra layer of security to the user account, providing stronger protection against unauthorized access. Now, users can customize the font and theme for the entire application as well as dashboards. Next, we have provided UI to upload and manage localization files. Next, these are the ID improvements we have made. Notably, Startup API version 1.0 is obsolete in the Bold BI version 5.3 release and its usage is no longer recommended. This API will be removed in the upcoming release and we recommend you use Startup API version 2.0 instead. As for embedded enhancements. Now, users can easily get widget information from their dashboard by utilizing an API and they can customize the widget by passing custom parameters. Next, users can post comments in dashboards and widgets in JS-based embedding, and they can even customize the icon shown for comments. Next, we have provided support for the same site cookie policy for reframe embedding to avoid logins in iframe pages if the user has already logged into the server page. These are minor enhancements we have made to embedding. We have made embedded BI improvements like option to hide the get embed code item for dashboards and widgets. Then we have made improvements like allowing customization of the designer, data source toolbar icons, and more. Also note that you need to use the updated embedded JS version, available at the mentioned link. We do have breaking changes for our embedded BI. Next, these are a few widget improvements in this release. In this video, we covered the exciting new features in the latest release for the self-hosted and embedded editions of Bold BI, version 5.3. You can download this latest version of Bold BI from the account page link provided in this video's description. I have also provided a link in the description where you can sign up for a free 15-day trial on our website if you are new to Bold BI. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or if there are any additional features you would like to see in Bold BI. Thanks for watching.